What's up guys, this is Matt here again. Just doing another quick video. Yeah, this, this is uh, Lincoln Road, pick and save here. Lincoln Road. Along here we've got the, the big mega mitre 10, I'll just walk up here. Along this road. Just um, using my new phone, my new Android phone, just to um, show, you, show you parts of West Auckland around here. I'll start doing the prayer soon. So this is the Mega Mitre 10 we have here in West Auckland area. Just give you a bit of a pan view. Pick and save. Pick and save fuel around here. Just going to cross this road. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Father. We're seeing prophecy being fulfilled in our time today. Hallelujah. So just um, this is our car park area around here. They can see feel what I've just said. This guy's going around the corner. Just being careful about where the cars are going around here, around Lincoln Road. Yeah, just like this, just to say to everyone you know. You know that we all fall short of God's glorious standards, you know God's word it testifies about our own our own actions and our own ways. We know I think we, as believers you know we I think it's a time for us to stand up for our faith. Time for us to say something in this in this in this in this cult, cultural multicultural world that we're living in. Because God's word tells us that we are all gonna have to stand up before God. All means all, doesn't matter what people's of faith or belief or different cultural backgrounds, we're all gonna have to stand up before Jesus Christ. That's what God tells us, you know, he says, he says in Romans, you know, why do you condemn a believer for why do you condemn another believer? Remember we're all gonna have to give account before God. We're gonna have to give a remember we're all gonna have to give account for every good and bad thing. That's, that's what God's word tells us. It all means all. It doesn't just mean one person or one particular group. It means that we're all going to have to stand before Christ. When, um, when that day appears. So just, you know, you know God you know, God's easy to think we do. Both, both in the... But put up some spare a bit of bubble gum on the ground there. So this is the other part of Lincoln Road here. This is the gym area. The gym, the bank. Um, I'm sure you guys probably, probably can zoom this in, on your own on the on the YouTube videos. Um, yeah, so in the mighty name of Jesus we break fear, we break condemnation, we break we break every power of the enemy of these people's lives over over this world. We put the blood of Jesus Christ in our in our world, as the word tells us in um, Ephesians 6, verse 10, 18, Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, be strong in the Lord and his mighty power. Therefore, put on the whole arm of God, you can fight against all strategies. The devil wrestle not against flesh and blood enemies, but against authorities. He will always against mighty powers and unseen will, because he will spurs in every pieces. So that when the devil comes, you'll be able to stand firm. We put on God's righteousness, the armor, the belt of truth, the helmet of salvation, which is the sword of the spirit. The helmet of salvation. The sandals of readiness was the gospel of good news and the helmet of yeah, the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Hallelujah. Pray in the spirit at all times and on all occasions. Be persistent in your prayers for all believers everywhere. Hallelujah. We know that we're fighting against the spiritual warfare in this country and in this world that we're living in. I'm going to shout out to all you guys in, in Africa and in, in, in other parts of the world are going through the rest of the situations that we are going through at the moment, especially in Afghanistan, where the um, we're in this country at the moment, uh, we're, we're in their country where they are um, being persecuted, where the, they're fleeing from their lives just because they're standing up for Jesus in these last days. 
you know that they, they, they're in fear that their their own lives will be taken because of this because of the, the um, virus because of the um, Taliban regime so I do urge you, urge you guys all don't um, there isn't much of, there is much of prayer that is needed not just in uh, our own country but in, in the world wide of things God tells us that we must look out for the poor God tells us in Isaiah chapter 1 he says you know look out you know defend the orphans feed the poor follow you beautiful verse says after that when I put your when, when your final linen comes up there's, there's um, blood weed or they'll turn out turn out as, as white as wool hallelujah this beautiful verse remember that from Isaiah chapter 1 where the Israel and, and, and the Israelites the early Jews continue to continue to rebel and sin against God Remember that. Remember seeing those. Remember seeing that in um, the early accounts of the Bible and, and how sin continued to creep in, even though God had promised to the Israelites the promised land, and they continued, they continued to rebel and continue to to um, go against God's laws, God's regulations, God's covenant. I was just reading in Second Kings, uh, as I recently went to read King, uh, King, uh, King Hezekiah and the King of Assyria were at war with one another. King Hezekiah had um, kept the laws of God, kept the commands and regulations of God's, God's law, while the King of Assyria was, um, you know, he was following the pagan, he was following the pagan uh, nations of the of, of the land at the time what had happened is you know um, in their day you know um, God had God had sent war upon those parts of the land because Israel was not faithful to God and keeping the commandments of God they continued to follow the Asherah poles and the pagan nations of the land we see the same thing in our country today. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm guilty as church, as you know, using technology and that, but I make, I make sure that I spend time with God's Word to learn the history of the Word, to, look, to, look, um, to speak out what's, what's happening in this life, about the different um, issues, the different... Um, the different ideals that are getting passed in this country, which I don't particularly agree with, but I just urge you, your dear brothers and sisters, just to be strong in the Lord. Don't, you know, God tells us not, don't worry about anything, but pray about anything. But I believe we're in a time where we need to start praying for those, pray, praying for our laws. Praying for our government, praying for our pastors, our, e our elders, our leaders to make the right decisions. I'll go around this time actually. To make, um, to pray for those who need, who need prayer, whatever that may be. I urge you all just to um, keep in the faith, um, fight the good fight. You know, um, we know, one, we know that one day there'll be a new heavens and a new earth. I think most of us um, Christians, and just I'm not saying to you Christian in the real, but I'm just saying in general. I think we talk about in general a lot of doom and gloom and the, the bad stuff that's going to come upon the earth, which it is actually happening in Bible prophecy today. But these um, other verses, like like um, Micah, like Micah four, like um, Ezekiel, I think it's thirty four, tells about the, you know the, that God will make a new covenant between the animals himself and the animals. Um, that that when, whenever you 
you never you'll go down a, a narrow path, you know, they will never harm you, but it, yeah, that's part of Hosea 2.14, he says, I'll make a new covenant between my, myself and the, and the animals of the world that, that um, you'll walk down a narrow uh, pathway, um, you walk down a, a, a long narrow road and no animal will harm you. Um, Micah 4 says, you know, um, in these last days, people gather upon the mountain of Jacob to stream to worship. For it be the highest hill above all mount, highest mountain above all hills. Hallelujah. Um, for the Lord, for the Lord will settle international disputes far away. When nations will no longer fight against nations nor train for war anymore. Hallelujah. For swords will be tuned, for all swords will be tuned into plowshares and spears and pruning hooks. Everyone will live in prosperity, planning their own fig trees and vineyards, for there will be nothing to fear. People around us will follow their idols, but we will follow the Lord forever. I, the Lord, has spoken. And that's one of God's promises, that one day, one day we know the dead shall be risen again. That one day, the new heavens and the new earth, God has planned for us. There won't be any more pain, there will be no more suffering, no more death, no more disease. No more governments, no more leaders telling us, telling us what's what. But there will be one government, and that government will be under the name Jesus Christ. The King of all kings, the Lord of all lords. He shall, he shall be the reign, one that reigns forever and ever. Hallelujah. Yeah, so I just uh, found out today that the, the guy's the guy's not... Um, He's sick today, so he won't be doing his, um, his the, um, I went to one doctor this morning, finding out, that, telling him about the, the issues um, with my breathing and that. But I found out, you know, the guy's not coming, another person's not ready till, till uh, 2 p.m., 2 o'clock this afternoon. Um, Frustrating because all I want to do, I want, want to be speaking about the, my um, health, my own health at the moment. Um, well, concern due to um, someone smoking around the house. Uh, yes, I like to just to let you guys know. Um, don't be afraid to don't let the enemy just. Um, they let the enemy just uh, let you say anything. Please speak up. Please speak up about your faith in Christ. Please speak up about your the shoes that are at hand. You know, don't let the don't let don't let things slide by. And continue to love those around you. Continue to um, serve God. To speak up for what is truth. Speak up for what's um, needed in this world. So um, you know, there is a great, there's an, uh, you know, we need to, we need to know. I'm not saying we should be talking about Satan all the time. We should be talking about God of heaven and earth. We should be talking, speaking life through God's word. You know, um, John 10 verse 10 says, "A thief will come to seek, steal, and destroy, but I came to give you life and life more abundantly." See, I believe it, you know, when we speak life and we continue to speak God's word in our life today, you know, he gives us the power to overcome anything. I'm not saying that, you know, this life is an easy road, but, you know, this life this life is, um, it's only temporary. And we're only here for a little short while. That we're only passing through. We're only here just to, um, to God, give God all the glory. No leader, I'm not here to worship anybody else but to worship Jesus Christ. Because one day, one day we shall hear the trumpet blast, we shall hear him coming upon the earth. We know that the dead will rise again. We know that every knee will bow before Jesus Christ, myself included. But I'll um, I just uh, like to say to you guys that you know, I love you, I leave you. Um, guys soon and um yeah have a good one catch you later bye